Hey guys, welcome back. So in our last tutorial, we went through in-place masses. So remember, if you click on the Massing and Sight tab and select In-Place Mass, you can create angular or amorphous designs. In previous tutorials, we used massing to make a skyscraper. But in this tutorial, I want to go through Model In-Place Mass. In this case, it's actually a lot like building a custom component for your specific project. And you can use this for a variety of purposes. You might use it to, like in this case, create a slanted wall, but you can also use it to erode different surfaces. You might use this for furniture. It gives you the ability to create custom furniture directly in your model. It keeps you from having to go under File, New, and Selecting Family, where you actually have to create a new family with a designated family type you still will have to assign a family type, but it gives you more freedom to actually design your model within your project. So to do that, I'll go to the Architecture tab, and from Component, instead of selecting Place Component, which essentially just gives you access to your desks, your trees, and the default models that we're accustomed to, instead, we're going to choose Model in Place. And so Model in Place will let you choose from all different types of families and all different types of groups. In this case, I'm going to create a wall family. Now you might ask, why would you choose a wall family when you can always just choose a wall from the Architecture tab? Well, in this case, you can actually make custom shapes. Or you can even erode from existing shapes. For example, I'm going to go into my Level 1 floor plan and I'm actually going to make some sort of cut directly through this object. So I'll go and select my void forms, and in this case I'm going to choose a blend. And this will really show how it can erode. So I'm going to choose my base, which is basically what we're going to be drawing now, and we'll erode the entire bottom part of the base, and then we'll do the top part, where it's actually going to switch into a circle which means it'll only erode part of it. So we'll hit our check mark to finalize that, and then we'll go into our 3D view, and you'll see this sort of cut volume shape. Now one thing that you'll notice is that you'll see this object in yellow, and what that means is that it's not assigned to anything else. And so as long as this family, which we can see under the Family Categories and Parameters option, as long as it's under Walls, then you can actually affect walls. So now, if I choose the Cut option from the Modify tab, and then select the Void Form, and then the Wall, you can see the cut appears in the wall. The volume that we made, that Void Form, actually creates a hole. Now in one case, you might be able to use this as an amorphic door opening, kind of like we're doing here. But you can also use these tools for other things. You can use them for other families. You can use them for furniture families. Say we want shelving units along here. It's really easy. Just go to your level 1 floor plan, and we want it along that wall. So I'll go to Architecture, Component, and Model in Place again. And now for the type, I'm going to choose Furniture. I'll hit OK. And now for the name, I'll just call it Shelving Unit, and I'll hit OK. And now, just like before, I'll create an extrusion, I'll use my Rectangle Drawing tool right under the Draw panel. I'll draw my rectangle right along that wall, and I'll manually put in an 18-inch shelf depth. Now keep in mind we're doing an extrusion, so for our depth, I don't want a foot for that, so I'll manually change the extrusion end to 3 quarters of an inch. I'll hit Apply, and now I'll go into my 3D view. So now I'm going to use the View Cube to adjust my view to the right view, and I'll use my Move command, either the MV keyboard shortcut, or I'll just click on the Move icon under the Modify panel, and now I will move my shelf up. Now you may have to disjoin it to accomplish that, if it's constrained to the level it was created on. So now I can copy this up, or keyboard shortcut CC, whichever of the different means of copying is most comfortable for you. And now I will just keep on copying and pasting shelves until I have the number that I want. Once I've placed all of my shelves, if I want to, 
I can actually click on the actual extrusion and I can assign materials to my shelf. Regardless, once you're happy with it, hit the check mark. And now you can see we have our shelving unit built into the wall. So you can actually use this model in place option for a variety of purposes. You can use it as a void form to cut a hole out of a wall, or you can create something brand new, treat it like furniture and attach it to your project. So again, to access this, you go to architecture, component, and then model in place. And you have access to all the different family types, walls, doors, caseworks, anything you want right in your project. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.